Hi, I'm back. I'm continuing this journey. I have listened to... Actually, have I even listened to the debut of Black Sabbath? Maybe I finished this whole journey with listening to the debut. I own the debut on record, but I may have never listened to it. And then I've listened to Paranoid. I've listened to Volume 4. And what's the middle one? What's the third one called? Master of Reality, of course, the purple one. So I've listened to those three records in my Sabbath journey. They're like the first album reactions I actually did on this channel, funnily enough. And now I'm going on to the fifth album, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. This is after I put up a Patreon poll where I asked for what they went to see. They went to see metal, of course. I knew that. Um, and then quite a few people said, you got to continue the Sabbath journey. I have one dude, what's his name? Is it Stevie Licious? No, it's not Stevie Licious. Who is it? Ah, Michael. Michael's been asking me to <laughs> react to Heaven and Hell, I think, for years. It's the first album of Dio as a singer, which would be great. I also love Ozzy Osbourne, though, so you can't really go wrong. But I need to do this in order. Like, I need to continue this, go on to the fifth album, um, and eventually get to Heaven and Hell. I think that's, like, their ninth or... Yeah, their ninth album. So we're listening to Sabbath Bloody Sabbath today to make our way through to Heaven and Hell eventually for Michael. But let's hope it's good. This is 1973. I can't believe that these guys have... They've released um, five albums in the course of four years, I think, at this point. If you would like to see a full cut of this reaction, it will be up on my Patreon. I put all my full cuts up there. Sometimes I have to cut down these videos quite a lot due to my videos getting blocked and stuff like that. You would have seen that last week with Damn Damn Damned, Neat Neat Neat. That had to be cut like crazy. So you have like the full cuts up on Patreon. <laughs> Oh, I just love the sound of the drum. Not the drums, the guitar. drums here. Ah, oh, fake. How they do that? Oh my gosh. Really awesome song. I vibed that one a lot. I loved all the change-ups, the bridge section. I don't know if you would call it a bridge, but the usual bridge portion, the third quarter or so, that really dirty moment was so cool. I loved the overall riff as well. Um, it's interesting to note, apparently the band struggled a lot with the writing process of this album because of substance abuse and fatigue. And then they relocated to Forest of Dean in England where Tony the guitarist conceived that, that main riff for Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, that song. 
So that riff is what started the whole process for this album. So I appreciate that riff for many different reasons. Let's continue here. I'm really excited to just keep going because uh, I was just vibing that a lot. I haven't listened to Sabbath in a hot minute. It just feels good to be back. It's very comforting for me, very easy to listen to at this point, which is sort of funny to say. I remember when I first started, like, this was a lot for me. The next song is A National Acrobat. <laughs> okay. I just love, I said it at the start of the last song, but I love the sound of the guitar. It feels very warm. It's so like um, slow though compared to other music I've been listening to. After damned. This was really slow. endings to a Sabbath track. I loved them going fast. They didn't really do it much. It's so cool. Loved the end. The best. This is already beautiful. This is already like what I'm asking for in all music. I love you Ozzy, but please let this be an instrumental. piano oh my gosh you wouldn't think this stuff would be in like their discography like I had no idea when I just thought of Black Sabbath I'd never listened to anything yet you'd never think this beautiful instrumental stuff would be in there and where's the other one that I would add it to no joke just added that to five different playlists
we do it a pause because I'm losing my mind with fluff. The song title is not selling it. I don't really like the song title fluff, but apart from that, this song is perfect. It's an instrumental. I love Ozzy, but thank you Ozzy for letting us have that instrumental moment. It had amazing guitar and amazing keys. Loved the combination of them, how they were coming in and out and let each other shine. That type of music is my go-to. I listen to so much instrumental music. I listen to a lot of ambient music, a lot of soundtracks. I love music that I can sit and think to and just feel to as well. Like there doesn't have to be lyrics for me to just love a song. Um, and that's a great example of it. This is going to sound really cheesy, but that type of music reminds me of falling in love. I don't know. Like, some people probably would listen to Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, and, like, that's them falling in love. Like, everyone's got their different definition of love. But for me, fluff is, it really culminates in this feeling of love for me. Um, it just is complete beauty and sadness, but happiness and love and appreciation for the world. That's, like, what I think of when I listen to something like that. I love it for that reason. I love that this band Black Sabbath, which they're like the godfathers of heavy metal and they have songs like this on every single record I've listened to so far, I think. But they'll have this beautiful instrumental number sprinkled throughout this, the albums. And I just think that it's what makes these albums so special to me, I think. It's just you have this back and forth of different ideas and different sounds going on in the record. And the day they stop doing that in the discography is the day I won't be liking the music anymore. This Fluff is not a very popular song on this record, but it is my favorite song I've heard so far. So that is what makes Sabbath special to me, is I can appreciate the metal stuff. I love the metal, but Fluff is where the heart of it all is for me. The fact that these like metal dudes are writing a song like Fluff is just so cute to me. Fluff is the best. It's why I love Sabbath, weirdly. Hopefully some people will understand what I mean. Let's go on to Sabra Kadabra. <laughs> That's one of the best song titles. I love Sabbath Bloody Sabbath as well. That's a really great song title, but Sabra Kadabra? <laughs> it's, why do I find that so funny? Sorry, it's like three o'clock and I haven't had lunch. The bass going up and up? Ooh. Wait. That's it, that's the part for me. Ooh. Yeah. Wow, they're doing so many change ups. Oh, I get it. I'm feeling it. Who's my piano? It's Tony. Tony? Is Tony like my new favorite? Nah, no, Ozzy's my favorite. This song is also awesome. Sabra Kadabra. I knew it would be. I love that title.
can't tell if I liked the guitar or piano more, so Tony just wins on that track. Really liked the um the echo and whatever effects are on Ozzy's voice on that track as well. Really cool. question we go to a pause the last three tracks i think that's also another heart like i just keep giving out hearts here though it's five for five hearts with this album what is happening there has to be a song i don't like it always happens there's there's no way i love every single song i thought maybe it would be killing yourself to live because that first two or so minutes wasn't really doing it for me but then the guitar solo I feel like the guitar was just elevated after that. It was just a sound to it that wasn't there before the guitar solo. The sped up tempo. And Sabracadabra. That is my second favourite track on the album after Fluff. Sabracadabra actually had a bit of a groove to it, a bit of soul to it. Um, I love the piano. Tony's insane on the piano here with Fluff and Sabracadabra. He's just bringing the keys. I love piano. You can play piano on anything and I will fall in love. Who are you? Oh. I'm already here. I'm already there. It's it's done. Yes, I know the what? What's my secret? Big brother. Well, I'm loving the sound, the electric feel. I feel like I'm out in space. these lyrics too, they're super wacky. This is great too, the breakdown.
noisy in the ears. A bit more happy. Maybe they don't really like. Why does he keep talking to me? Honestly, stop asking me personal questions. change it out. like the song but that last minute yeah really really into it this is beautiful once again this is like fluff haunting love it the song whatever happens next I'm on the I'm on the fence right now clap at the end okay I, I really like that album off the back of who are you I was for a second thinking what is happening with this album like where's the song I don't like um but we found it it was Spiral Architect I really like that song and looking for today yeah a half so overall we've got a 6.5 out of 8 so yeah, it was an 81.25 which is pretty solid yeah pretty um pretty standard so I feel like I liked it quite a lot like I don't feel like it sits too much more below the other albums I think this is actually quite solid and at this point I do love everything I've heard from them so far like every album has been quite a masterpiece for me I really like this album I feel that maybe the last two songs suffered from not enough like dare I say ideas I feel like all the ideas are in the first six 
tracks of this album and they're so packed full of ideas that they are all in such incredible songs and then looking for today in style architect it's sort of like i said a bit more lackluster and just like no change-ups really pretty just standard songwriting song progression very repetitive even though fluff and who are you both don't do too many change-ups either i feel that they work better because they're still weird and different from the other usual just solid black sabbath metal tracks and they fit perfectly with two just metal tracks before each one so i think they work well to break up the album it's just looking for today in spiral architect just didn't hold down its third for me unfortunately so yeah but oh my gosh if i'm just talking about the six tracks that start off this album this album is like near perfection i loved all the different change-ups i love tony is what i'm realizing this album's making me realize how much i love tony because i've always been so stuck on aussie but tony's guitar and piano across the first six tracks they really drew me in they were really keeping me interested i feel like the guitar definitely lacked a little bit on track eight especially yeah i'm not gonna lie the first six tracks like tony blew me away they really know how to do the transitions quite well that the song still blends and feels like the one song even though it can sound quite different throughout the whole entire track back on the black sabbath train on the journey again i've got to listen to sabotage next for sure and then i think i might just skip to heaven and hell let me know if that's probably the best option here i'm not sure but that's what i'm thinking listen to album six listen to album nine and then i might listen to album one i have i feel like i never actually fully listened to album one i think i listened to a few tracks and i bought the album in anticipation to listen to it i sort of do that sometimes sometimes i will sit there and i know i love an album but actually haven't listened to it yet just because i've listened to like one or two tracks and i just know i just know it's going to be the best album and i will buy it i'm excited to listen to more sabbath soon i think paranoid is still my favorite black sabbath album that's for sure but this one definitely is quite a solid album in the discography for me so yeah i hope you've enjoyed watching this video um i would say that spiral architect is my least favorite track and then sabra cadabra <laughs> I can't get over that title and fluff were my two favorite songs. All right. See you later. Bye.